Dagwell's Chew Talk. Thank you, Doug. Welcome back to you too. Yep. So hopefully last week I'm wearing my sling. Comes off next week. It's also the last week that you will be... A year nine. Oh no, 13. 13? Yeah. But also a year nine as well. Yeah, true. So next week you turn 14 on Monday. Yeah, that's correct. And then uh, and last year you're nine. It's true as well. Moving on to last week, Styrobel was a winner at the at Te Aroha. He was, yeah, good prize money race, forty five grand. Um, he's come back really well. We always thought he'd come back well. Um, just get him on good tracks as a stayer, and that's his go. Um, he was dominant. He was only second up over twenty two hundred. I think he's in for a really good summer. I think there's some cups that he can win, and we might start with the Manawa Two Cup next on the eleventh of December. Group three race for him. Uh, he goes really good left-handed. He's won there before. Mm, at Sydney, Lord Arbmore is also a winner. Yeah, really good winner. We didn't know whether he'd handle the wet track. That was our question mark. Um, but he handled it uh, with a big weight and um, was just too good for them. Um, very impressive winner. Um, he goes up in grade and comes down in weight again for another $130,000 race in a, in a couple of weeks' time. He's flying. Mighty Bear was second in the listed ATC Cup as well. Yeah, and he was stepping up a couple of grades. Uh, we talked about this last week, and um, the only thing that beat him was the heavy track. Uh, if it had been a better track, I think he would have won. He was still very good as class, has gone a long way. He's a really exciting star for the future, and he will clash again with Lord Ardmore in a couple of weeks' time, which will be interesting because they've clashed twice so far. Lord Ardmore's won one, and Mighty Bear's won the other one. Mm. This week on Friday at Rickerton Race 3, we have Alicera. Uh Yes, gets to a mile, has a nice draw. Um, has had four runs in this time, two really good placings, uh, and two duck eggs. But the duck eggs, you can ignore. His last duck egg, he had a terrible barrier draw, got a long way back, had no chance, but still ran the fastest last eight and 633.9. Much better barrier draw uh, on Friday. Um, he should settle a bit handy with cover, and I think he'll be hard to beat. Nice each way chance. Mm. Race four, a fragile. Um, again, over a mile. She went 1400 last time. She, she really wanted a mile, but we, there wasn't an appropriate mile race for her, so she went 1400, ran third. The mile really suits. Nice barrier draw, very good each way chance to break through. And race seven is Darcy Palmer. So he raced through the Cup Carnival. Ran super the first day from a terrible draw, stormed home, fastest last 600 of the race. Second day it rained, he's no good in the rain, just put a line through that. He's back, he's got a nice barrier draw, gets a kilo off the Kavish Chaudhari on board who rides really well. Um, looks a good race for him, he's a definite winning chance. And then on moving on on Saturday at Mata Mata race 2, we have Well I Never. Fresh up. Um, she should have probably finished third, but a bit closer, but just got tight close to the line and ran fourth. Over a distance too short, was an excellent run. She goes up to 1,400 metres. That suits, it'll suit her even better when she gets to a mile. She's got a nice enough barrier draw. She'll sit on midfield. She'll hit the line hard. She's an each way chance. She's come back well. At Trenton race five, we have make time. So just forget about his last run. He was fresh up, he really badly needed. Had to do a lot of work early, got tired late. Uh, much better barrier draw. He'll jump, he'll put himself relatively handy. Um, expect to see him improve significantly. The 1200 is still too short for him. He'll be better when he gets to 1400 at his subsequent start after this. Um, but he'll run He'll run a nice race. Mm. And then moving on at the Gold Coast race one, we have Strongbow. Um, horse we really like it a lot of time for. Second on debut, last start. Uh, he drew wide both times. Last start, he just got back, just couldn't get into the race on a tight on a sort of in a race where they started to sprint when he was trying to make his move. He's got barrier three this time, gets up to twenty two hundred. That really suits him. I can see him taking a much handier position. He's a big, long striding horse. Can see him hopefully be getting plenty of room, um, and the last part of his race will be good. And I think it'll be hard to beat. Mm. And then at Newcastle race 5 we have Count On Me. Second up, on debut he was very good, came from last to run 7th, gets an extra couple of hundred metres, goes to a mile, uh, which suits. Um, 
He also has a bit of barrier draw, so I can see him settling sort of midfield, maybe one pair behind that. He won't be last this time, or shouldn't be, um, and he'll hit the line really well. He is a stayer, and he'll be better over 2,000 metres, but he's a definite top four chance on Saturday as he progresses forward. And at Rosal Race 8, Otera. Really excited to see Oti Ra race. Uh, he was a horse that we bought out of a Tazel sale in the middle of the year, July. Um, he's very well performed in the UK. He's come down, uh, kicks off in a $130,000 race. This race is too short for him. It's only 1,500 metres. He's got a wide barrier draw. He'll get back. He's got a significant amount of improvement in him, fitness-wise. So he'll get back, have a soft first half of the race. Um, he'll be able to hit the line, but this is really a race where you'll see him improve a stack through and watch from when he gets up to 1,800, 2,000 metres. Nice horse. And finally at Packetham Race 7, we have Skyman. Skyman going 2,500 metres in the $300,000 Packetham Cup. It's a distance that we've wanted to get him to. We've raced him over 2,000 and, and, uh, metres and just above, and he's raced well at those distances. Uh, but Damien Thorne, who rides him, really feels that um, he's going to enjoy getting out to a longer distance. So he gets his opportunity. He's hard fit horse. It's at the end of his preparation. Uh, he's drawn wide, but I don't mind that. He's drawn about, he's drawn, I think, barrier 11, but he'll get back, but that's okay, because I think from that draw, he'll be able to relax. He'll be able to build momentum and finish off well. I'm really excited to see him over this distance. If he runs out the 2,500 meters, he's a distinct winning chance. The question mark is whether he'll run the 2,500. I think he will. We'll find out on Saturday. And then finally, bit of the week at Matter Matter Race 1, we have All Black Bourbon. Yes, yeah, so All Black Bourbon, um, trained by Stephen Marsh. Horse that won on debut is always shown a lot of ability. Now, he's come back his first up start run. He was quite well backed. He was paying $7.90, I think it was. And he finished last, but he just, he got checked out of the race, got knocked back, got absolutely no chance. So you just kind of put a line through it. And then he raced last week, and he raced, and he just, he got very tight, and he just couldn't get a gap to get through. So he, he clearly didn't have a run at all, and he had more to give. Backed him up this week, so he's taken no harm from last week. He's got a nice barrier draw, he gets to 1,500 metres. He should relax, and with clear running, I think he's an excellent each way chance. And given people look at his form, they might look at his form and go, oh, he doesn't look in good form. But if you watch his races, he's actually been very unlucky. We might get a dollar on him. Or Black Bourbon, Matter Matter, bit of the week. And that concludes Tube Talk. It does, and we'll see people next week where you'll be a year older, and I'll be slingless. Hopefully. But your arm will still not work. Hopefully it does. Bye. Bye. Followed by Gold Fun, Charles the Great. And now Berry unleashes the champ, Chautauqua to the middle part of the track. Penophobia tackled, buffering with Aero Velocity. Aero Velocity put his head in front from Penophobia. Strathmore, they're not listening to me. Lucky Bubbles, Chautauqua is winding up. Aero Velocity joined by Strathmore. Lucky Bubbles, Chautauqua still coming. Going to the lead, Lucky Bubbles. Chautauqua, here he comes. The thunder down under. Chautauqua race to the lead. What a champion.